Hmm. Hello, everyone. Hello, family of Facebook and internet land. This is Holly Taraya checking in live here, heading into this powerful, powerful weekend we have ahead. And I really want to drop in today and share with you some insight as to what this weekend really means for you individually and also to us globally as a collective and um, ways to really prepare and open yourself up to all the energies that are going to be coming down to us on earth this weekend and how to take those insights and move them forward into this new world that we're all becoming a part of and birthing. So, oh, my heart is racing. It's been pounding now for the past like three days. It's, it's just, I can feel, I can feel the energy that's coming down into my system right now. And it's, it's, it's wild. It's wild. So just a little bit of information for you guys as to what's going on. Um, I don't even want to say globally. It's more like universally. It's a universal cosmic channel that we're all about to um, enter into. So we have lots of things, lots of things happening right now on a, on a universal cosmic scale. We have the summer solstice, which is this weekend. We have a new moon and we are entering an eclipse season. So we're entering some lunar and solar eclipses. So what does this all mean? So let's start first with the summer solstice. So the summer solstice is on the 21st, which is Sunday um, in the U.S., and the summer solstice is the closest that the sun is to the earth through any day of the year. It's officially the first day of summer and it's the closest that the sun is to our planet. And so with this proximity, we're receiving a huge, huge amount of light, huge amount of life, uh, light being channeled down onto our planet and into our bodies. And this energy is very yang. So you think of like the yin yang in Taoist traditions. This energy is the yang. It's the white. It's the white light. It's the warrior. It's the king. It's the father. It's pure consciousness. It's the ascension, right? It's our upward moving energies. It's the outwards and upwards. And the element of this is obviously fire. So we're being bombarded right now with all this elemental fire. And what's also happening right now with the sun is the sun is giving off extra solar flares, extra solar flares than usual. And because our planet is so close to the sun, we can feel this. We can feel this light activation. And what these solar flares are doing is they're actually activating latent parts of our DNA. They're activating us. It's almost like our whole system and our whole planet, everything living is being activated with this light force energy. And the sun contains codes. Think of it like Morse codes. The sun contains these codes that it's literally downloading into our whole entire system, like a system software upgrade. So it's like when you have a computer and it's time to upgrade your software, that's what's happening right now with this solar field, with this solar energy. So what does that mean for us? It means that anything latent within inside of us, anything that's potential within inside of us is going to be activated this weekend. It's going to be brought to life. It's going to be given the fire and the light. You know, think of plants. They take in light with chlorophyll and they turn it into energy. So that's, that's what's happening right now with every living thing. But with humans, we're being activated. So anything that's under the surface, under any blocks, under any fears, under any hesitations is being lit right now with this solar energy. And with this yang energy, with the sun, it's very much like a doing, a doing and an action and an ascension. It's like the, um, the upward facing triangle, right? So that's what's happening with the solar eclipse. And we're also going to be experiencing a new moon. So the new moon, you know, the moon represents the unconscious, the shadow self, the, the dark feminine mysteries. 
And the moon um, being a new moon is actually going to be dark in the sky. And when we have a new moon is when the creative potential is really, really potent. And almost think of it like the, the air, the energy, the ether around us is fertile. It's really, really, really fertile. So this is really going to inspire kind of from our hara, from our womb center, lots of creative energy. It's going to activate lots of creative energy within our, within our being, within our soul, within our consciousness. So the cool thing about having the solar eclipse and the new moon at the same time is that we're literally being cradled in this tantric force, this divine masculine energy of the sun and this divine feminine energy of the moon, we are being cradled in this energy to rebirth ourselves, to completely rebirth ourselves. It's almost like we are the seed and the energy that we're in right now is all the fertilization, all the solar power, all the creative potential to harvest and nourish ourselves as the seed and any seed that lays dormant in us that's been planted there that we were born with our our divine gifts our purpose our mission our mantra our march like our our reason for being our dharma and so we're in this really beautiful portal right now of being held by the divine father and the divine mother and the new moon is also in cancer which is my sign i have i have cancer in in three of my planets in uh, in my in my chart and cancer is the mama bear of the zodiac it's it's the nurturer it's the waterer right so we're given the solar power energy of the of the solar eclipse this uh, the summer solstice which is the fire and then we're given the motherly watery creative fertile energy of the new moon so what does this mean when these two come together it's our time to really open our bodies open our hearts open our spirit open our soul to fully receive these energies to fully let these ener energies activate anything inside of us that wants to come forward anything that wants to be born um, and really use utilizing the water from the moon to give us wisdom and insight and intuition and then using the energy from the sun being so close to the sun to give us action right to turn that insight into action so this can feel really overwhelming. I know for, for sure, I'm just like, whoa! I feel like a kettle, like on a, on a boiler that just feels like I'm about to explode right now. I'm really in tune with this energy. Right now I'm doing a juice cleanse. I started it yesterday and I'm taking it till Sunday. So I definitely recommend to really open yourself up to these frequencies and energies to really take some time this weekend to cleanse your system. Maybe do a water fast or a juice fast. Um, a social media fast would be really great as well, or just like a full on digital detox to really like drown out the noise around you and the chatter and the clutter so that you can drop in and tune in and really feel what's being asked of you. What is What inspiration is this new moon giving you? What creative energy is being planted with inside of you? And then what power from the sun is being asked to be brought forth? right? So really tuning in, really making yourself open and like fully surrendered and fully letting go. The new moon is dark. You know, we don't see her this weekend and the sun is at its peak. So this is all about bringing our shadow into the light. What wants to be seen? What wants to be heard? What wants to be moved through you? right? What's in your subconscious world that wants to be made real? What dreams are in the ether that you want to be embodying and bring into this, this physical, this physical realm, right? So really, really potent weekends we're all heading into. And it's perfect timing as it always is. 
as it always is with the cosmos. It's perfect timing. So we've just come out of this cocoon, this corona cocoon. For three months, we've all been um, almost in a, in a winter solstice of our soul. We've been really deep in our solitude and our sovereignty, you know, meeting our own needs, really coming up with creative ideas and, and, and really seeing what needs to go, what needs to change. And with this solar energy coming towards us in this, in this summer solstice, energy coming towards us and these lunar and solar eclipse energies coming towards us now is the time to start really heeding to your calls you know I, th I think my question to you would be what did you learn what did you learn from this sacred pause that we were gifted the last three months what did you learn to value more what do you want to spend more time doing what's your mission this this has become clear to you during this time it's become clear to all of us during this time and even if it's not crystal clear right even if it's not crystal clear there's a deep part in you that knows what is what is wanting to be birth what's next for you there's a deep part of you that's really sure and this weekend is all about activating that right like bringing it out into life we've really been in a place of like restoration and reservation of our of the last few months and now it's time to bring it forward right so we are the seeds of the new world that's being born and the last three months it's almost like we've been in a ayahuasca ceremony right we've been in our deep deep waters and really taking inventory of what's important where do i spend my time how do i spend my energy who are the people that i surround myself with right and we cut to the bone we cut to the core of who we really are right and now during this weekend now is the time to activate that to bring those ideas that came to you over the last three months in this cocoon to life to burst out of the cocoon and like spread your wings, really spread your wings, spread your mission, share your voice and really face your shadows as well. The fire that's coming off of the sun right now is so fierce and so powerful. And it's like an alchemical fire. It's like a cauldron that's going to burn away any residual fears, any doubts, any scarcity, any limiting beliefs, any upper limits, anything that is preventing us from transcending into the next best possible version of ourselves. Because imagine, imagine if every single one of us stepped into our higher potential, if every single one of us got over some of our fears and spoke our truth and shared our art and made our music and made love and had those difficult conversations and started that business and rallied the people, right? That is what it's gonna take for our world to change. We've all been gifted three months of deep stillness and introspection, and now it's time. It's time to get on your horse. It's time to gather your, your boons and your gifts, and it's time to march forward valiantly towards this new horizon that's dawning, this new world that's emerging, this new paradigm that's evolving and shifting in all of us. This time has been a long time coming. And now it's gonna take courage, it's gonna take humility, it's gonna take letting go, it's gonna take grace, it's gonna take joy, and it's gonna take community for us to really bring this new reality into an embodied form. Now is not the time to be divided. Now is not the time to be angry. Now is the time to channel those emotions of rage and suffering and shadow and turn them into action, turn them into love, turn them into wisdom, turn them into inspiration for your community. You know, we need leaders right now. We need leaders that are gonna get in the front of the boat and march us all forward And it. Yes, it takes courage. It takes, it takes unwavering courage to lead communities into uncharted waters. But here's the good news. This is uncharted territory for every single one of us. There's not one person that knows the answer or knows the way. 
But the good news is, is our soul knows. And part of this weekend with this new moon energy and this, this solar power that's coming towards us is we're being gifted the knowing. And our job is to trust. Our job is to surrender, to surrender everything that we thought we were and thought we should be doing and surrender it into what, what's real, what's really being asked of us. You know, so as a lot of you know, my sister and I made the decision to close our studio a few weeks ago. This was a heartbreaking, heartbreaking and courageous decision. And I know I am feeling so guided right now with all this cosmic energies and, and great spirit just talking to me. I am being guided towards what's next one step at a time. And I don't have a map, I don't have a GPS, but I have my heart and I have my intuition and I have my senses and I'm taking it one step at a time and I'm slowly marching forward and I'm bringing you with me. I'm bringing everybody with me and we're heading towards a new world. It's time, it's been time. We've all been saying we can't return to normal, right? We don't want to return to normal. Normal clearly wasn't working. Our planet is, is falling apart. Our people are being divided. You know, our resources aren't being utilized to the right things. So now's the time to really this weekend drop in, drop in. What does that look like? What do I mean by that? Stillness, stillness, like I said, do a fast, do a social media detox, get out in nature. I'm gonna be sunbathing nude like all weekend to really receive that solar energy, to really bring in those codes and embody them into every cell, into every strand of DNA. And I'm gonna let the sun activate any latent mission that's inside of me that wants to be called forth. And I'm gonna let the moon really water down and nourish me, cool any anger or fear inside of me, really kind of impregnate me with potential and possibility. And this new moon just is the beginning of a lunar cycle. We have a whole month to really receive these insights. So don't feel pressure, you know, don't feel pressure like, oh my God, there's so much happening this weekend. Like, what am I supposed to do? Your only job is to receive, 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 be outside, be in nature, do some breath work, do some meditation, drink lots of juice, drink lots of water, spend lots of time in solitude. And if you can, during the summer solstice, really get out with community, dance, sing, celebrate, hug, get with your tribe, get with your people. These are your allies, your tribe. These are gonna be your allies moving forward. Consider them your army, your luminous army. These are your people and we need each other. This is not a time to isolate. This is not a time to push away. This is not a time to divide. This is the time to come together, right? Because we're all in this grand symphony of life and we're all moving into a different song and we all have an instrument and we all have a part to play. So your job is to decide your body is your instrument. In what way are you going to make noise? In what way are you going to make love? In what way are you going to make m movement and music and magic, right? Because we all have that potential inside of us to change this world, but we have to commit. We have to commit to it because it's not going to take a, a group or a handful of people to shaman and midwife and birth this new world. It has to come through every single one of us. And again, it's going to take courage. You're, you may be asked to let a lot of things go this weekend. You may be given downloads of things that need to be surrendered and released and sacrificed. All sacrifice means is to make sacred. Right? So what in your life do you need to make sacred? What in your life do you need to leave on the altar? What in your life do you need to give to the fire and let that alchemical heat burn away? What in your life needs nourishing and you know fertilization? So yeah, lots of, lots of beautiful energy this weekend. Be still and know that you are God. That is one of my favorite quotes from the Bible and it's 
It's so true. You know, we have a spark of divinity within each of us. That's what Vasu means. Vasu is the light that dwells in all beings and it's the same source. We're all connected to the same source, this web of consciousness. And so collectively together, we have to commit to creating and weaving a new world. And this, this, this looks different than it has been. You know, this is about embracing love and, com and open communication. This is about vulnerability. This is about committing to having your heart be as wide open as possible. This is about dropping the armor and knowing that you're safe and protected. This is about taking any traumas that are unresolved and removing them, processing them, doing breath work, dancing, getting it out of your system, right? Moving, moving it through you and making space for all this light, all this fire, all these solar flare codes that are literally activating all of our DNA right now. It's amazing. It's a new world, guys. Like we, this is the tipping point. This is literally the tipping point. We've been given three months to assess and really understand who we are and who we are not. And now we're on the tipping point of putting that into motion. Who are you? What is your mission? What is your march? What do you stand for? Where are your boundaries? How is your self care? You know, where are you spending your time, energy, and resources? Are they going towards your mission? Are they supporting your mission? And who supports you? Who are you supporting? Who is in your community? Who is in your tribe? Right? So really dropping in first and asking how you can be of service to yourself. First and foremost, what are your needs? What needs watering to, tending to? What needs burning with inside you? And then bringing that out into the world, bringing that new you. We've gone from caterpillars, which are consumers. We've dropped into a cocoon with this sacred pause. And now we're emerging as butterflies, big, beautiful blue morphos butterflies and we are now pollinators we are now pollinators we've gone from consumers to pollinators pollinators that are going to bounce around from flower to flower from community to community from from place to place and and share our nectar share our wisdom share our light share our art share our inspiration and it takes courage it takes courage but everything we want is on the other side of fear, right? Fear, face everything and rise, rise above it, commit to it. I made a commitment long ago to listen to my heart and to bravely live from my heart and it has served me so well and it has served our community well. And it's not easy, you know, it's, it's not easy. I'm not saying that it's easy, but it's needed, it's necessary. It's, it's our number one job right outside of like our job and our main title like our actual job is to be like ceo of your vibration you know master of your mission you know that's your number one job and if you can weave that into your work and into your your work on this planet even better but i just want to remind you too that changing the world you know we all have a role we all have a role there's stewards that are kind of out there, the visionaries, right? That's kind of how I see myself, like really kind of looking on the edge of the boat, looking onto the horizon and seeing what's next, seeing what icebergs we need to avoid, seeing where the shore is. There are nurturers that need to tend to the needs of, of the community of the village and feed them and comfort them. There are the music makers that make this life worth celebrating and give us a cause for celebration and creativity and movement, right? There's the medicine makers, the people that bring salves to our hearts and tend our wounds and heal us. You know, there's the activists, the people that are on the front line, really using their voice to speak up for those that don't have a voice. There's just every, every possible thing you can think of has a purpose in this divine orchestration of, of this new world coming forth. And just reminding you that it doesn't have to be massive. It could be so simple. Your dedication and your role in this new world that's being born could be as simple as I embody joy. I embody joy and I give that frequency of joy to everybody that I meet. And I make everyone around me feel free and loved and seen and heard, right? That is enough. That is enough. 
So it could be, I am a music maker and I soften the souls and resuscitate the spirits of those who have lost their way and have forgotten how to celebrate. And I make people smile, right? It could be a community leader. You're gonna stand with your staff and get on your horse and march your people to the new direction. So whatever it is, just know that whatever that burning desire with inside of you is that's being called forth this weekend with our solar energy and our new moon, creative maternal energy, just know that whatever it is, it's perfect. It's perfect. And your job is to be open, to receive the insights, to really hear the call of what's being asked of you and to go forth and do it with a brave heart, with a brave open heart, with boundaries, right? You don't wanna be spilling yourself. You still wanna be contained. <sighs> so that's that for today, my loves. I'm wishing you so much love and so much joy and celebration. It's today's day one, it's the birthday. It's the celebration birthday of the new world that's been in the womb in the creative womb, in the cocoon for the last three months, and it's time to be born. And, and the brighter days are ahead. The brighter days are ahead. It's gonna be like nothing we've ever imagined. And it's gonna be like everything we've ever wished for. So sending you love and courage and joy and stay open, stay grounded, stay centered, and stay true. Mwah. Love you guys.